Hey what is it guys EVN here from Review It. This is an updated video for my previous video on how to get the Android Lollipop interface on your Android smartphones. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get the Android Lollipop recent apps interface on any Android smartphone no matter what phone you're using. So without wasting much time let's get into the review. So here it is guys the fancy switcher app. This can actually replace your recent apps home screen interface let's get into the app you see how it looks it just looks like the android lollipop recent apps if you get into the settings first of all you gotta enable the fancy switcher by clicking this check mark these are the settings for the app style here are four kinds of styles the android l is that you have to choose and the thumbnails you can adjust the size of thumbnails in the pro version you can customize the background you can sh you can show the system wallpaper and enable the transparency in the pro versions and you have only two simple options for the free version you can select the transition effect and close apps effect in the pro versions as well and the smart slider I have enabled the smart slider recent apps bar and these are the options you get in the pro version you can pin some of the favorite apps you can show recent apps bar and edit area you can just edit the area the amount of touch the amount of area sensibility sensibility you can increase the area or decrease I have, I have to keep it that way and position you can arrange it left or right according to your convenience you can vibrate or touch and start on swipe in the pro versions in the transition effect indicator style indicator color in the pro versions as well number of apps to be displayed in the pro version scrolling settings adjust the scrolling speed you can increase or decrease the speed and infinity scrolling is in the pro version you have three options here under the buttons RAM usage, home and closed apps and under most settings you have this option let me zoom in here it is default switcher override the native switcher if you check this option wait let me show you you look at look at the interface now it's just the Samsung stock interface oops sorry guys and more settings default switcher check this option and look at the change it's, it's still in beta so you might experience some glitches you see that this is so smooth and fast you can just select the app the flickerings are due to its beta tag maps Chrome you can just swipe either ways to close the app you have the home button the task manager the delete and the settings I don't know for some reason even though you click the delete button the apps are still running 
I don't know if this is a bug but I'll leave it to you guys to decide it for yourself home button the task manager clear the memory and that's it with the settings and if you look at this blue glow light if you slide from this, this area you can just switch from the current app to other apps you're using see that that's so simple and fast see that the rotating 3d icons looks so beautiful you can just swipe right or left to close killed killed that's it the animations are eye candy and very smooth so that is it guys that's the fancy switcher why don't you guys just give it a try so I hope you guys like the video if you do like the video please give a thumbs up comment your opinions in the comment section below and please subscribe to the channel for more further review videos thank you guys